Sometimes you have a piece you absolutely love, a chair you don't want to get rid of. Well, maybe you don't need a new one. Maybe you need to reupholster it. Please welcome Sarah Gunn, who's going to help us out. You can't just reupholster a chair. You've got to create your own fabric first, don't you? Well, why not? Why not? Why not? You know, it's uh, it just adds that extra look and gives you more bragging rights when everybody comes in the house and sees it. You can be like, I made that and I, I made, made the fabric. Yeah. Yes, very cool because if you customize it, you're actually getting exactly what you want and it's not right. as hard as you might think it is. It's actually incredibly easy. Okay, I've good. got two different options here to show you. The first yeah. one's down at your end and it's kind of a watercolor paint effect. And so the side you just folded over. That's the original side that I was planning on, but I actually prefer the back of that. Okay. And it could not be so easier. That's the original. It is. Well, so that's what I planned on doing, but then when I flipped it upside down as I was drying it, I liked both sides. So okay. you have options there when you're creating this one. Lovely. So I found these spray stains. They're really easy to work with, um, and they come in a few different colors. And uh, you guys, this could not be easier. You okay. literally spray the fabric. Oh. And it starts off really saturated with the colors, yeah. as you can see there. Um, but it really blends in and fades quite a bit. And you just layer a few different colors on top of each other. That's and then nice. if you want them to run into each other a little bit, just get your hands wet with a and little bit sprinkle. of water. And sprinkle a little bit of water on there and then wait and wait and wait and do not touch it okay. for at least two days. Because Leave if it you alone. will, your hands will be the color of the fabric right. for at least two days. Okay, and I can tell you that from experience. See? Beautiful um, yeah. though. Don't like, touch it. I just like the ombre sort of pattern it's really, of it. It's very organic. Yes, it is. It's like an abstract art piece yes. on your chair seat, which is really fun. Lovely. Um, and then another idea, I, I love flowers yes. and floral patterns. And I found this Stamping Up stamp. It's a dahlia and it's a nice oversized stamp. And these are typically used in paper projects. Okay. But I like finding new uses for things, so I thought, why not? Instead of pressing it in an ink, which is what you would normally do with a stamp, mm -hmm. um, I added some multi-purpose acrylic paint. Just make sure that it's suitable for fabric. Mm -hmm. And you, honestly, you just paint it on. You want to use a really good paintbrush for this. If you use one of those cheap, um, inexpensive paintbrushes, then you're going to have all of the lines, the strokes from the brush. But a really good brush is going to do eliminates the trick. that. Yeah, exactly. And make sure you get it. You can probably be kind of liberal with the paint, right? Yeah, you can be. You just want to. You don't want to get filling in all of these different holes and everything in there. You want to leave space there. Okay. Measure your starting point, which for me was the center. Mm -hmm. And you guys, all you do is you just press it down. That's it. Peel it up, and you've got oh, beautiful. a beautiful. Oh, so, did you get those stamps online? You yes. Them online? You can get these online okay, from Stampin' Up. And what I love about them is there's tons of different designs and patterns, and some of them you can layer. This is probably the least complicated one, which is why I went for it. <laughs> uh, and I love that it's got almost like a silk screen effect. Yes. Um, and the one thing you want to do is you do reapply the paint between each one. You don't, it's, you know, some things you can do when you just go a few times and reapply. You don't do that with this. All right. Reapply the paint every time, measure the distance between your flowers so that you have it pretty. You know, you can be as organic as you want with this though. I mean, if you want some to almost look yes. like they're disappearing. Absolutely. Put on a little bit less paint, or if you want some to be more saturated, go for it with the paint. Exactly, or just, you could even do some different colors on there. Different yeah. shades of the same color would be really pretty. That's right. And then you end up, so I did this with almost an indigo color, and you Lovely. end up with a pattern like that, which is really, really pretty. Very nice. Doesn't take as long to dry either, so this is a good one. So okay. I'm just gonna move this stuff out of the way, because now that you've got your custom fabric, mm -hmm. just gonna slide you wanna reupholster the seat. So I've had this chair for, I don't know, maybe 10 years. Okay. And I'm just gonna reach down, and I reupholstered it um, with store-bought fabric when I bought it, and gave it a paint, a coat of paint. So uh, you just take off your current, cover. This is a really old chair. because That's you can good see. for us to see though because right? most of us are going to have that chair that's got the good bones yeah. that we don't want to get rid of. Like how many of us grew up with that chair in our kitchen? Right. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's so true. It's so true. So you want to keep it um, yeah, and, and make under. it look absolutely fresh. So are you getting rid of the foam as well? I'm Would you keep the foam? The you could, I, and you I could. did. I actually used that phone from the phone, excuse me, from the original seat. But I okay. wanted to show you guys how easy it is to cut your own. Okay. So if All you right. have, speaking of what you had in your kitchen as a child, oh. remember that? <laughs> Carving knife. Oh, that's awesome. Um, is that what you use, Miss Crafty? The easiest thing, honestly. I so love I'm gonna turn it. it upside down so you guys can maybe see it a little bit better. Okay. And. <laughs> Okay. Oh, so right first you carve the meat, <laughs> then you carve the chair. That's 
awesome. And then you just do around, I'll just do around the corners here a little bit too. I won't do a perfect job because right. that's boring. Now, obviously, you guys know if you're doing this at home, you take whatever precautions you need to take to make sure you're not slicing off a thumb along with your chair. <laughs> and you've got a steady hand. Exactly. Uh, the one final important step before we, we actually attach it is you want to play around with the placement of the fabric so you like where the pattern is yes. sitting yes. on the chair. Pun intended. Um, <laughs> it kind of was. Do you want this out I do, like please. This? Okay. okay, so then the first thing that goes on there is some batting. Just softens the edges of the foam. Got it. Okay, and then you place the seat on top. So all done upside down. All done upside down. Almost like down. wrapping a gift. Yeah, exactly. And then... And then staple gun? Staple gun. Oh, you're speaking it's my language. It's the best. It's so easy to use. And do it nice and tight. And you do it really tight opposite. Right. You know, we always know opposite sides first. Good. You pull it in. Again, doing the other two sides. This is such an easy project. I mean, so let's simple. say you didn't even want to create your own fabric. So you go out, you buy the fabric that you need, right. cut it into place, and you've got all the tools in your kitchen really to make it happen. Absolutely. And you know, you just... Do you care about how you do the corners? I do. Of course you do. <laughs> do it it's Sarah again. She yeah, cares. There's two options. You can either come in on, I'll do both. Okay. You can come in on this corner like this where you're just pulling the corner in really tight. Okay. And then you can go over and I'm... Yeah, that's a nice, neat way to do right? it. Right? So you've got a little kind of pleated edge there. Yeah. Or you can be neat and tidy like this and, and fold the, the side over. And then the front of the seat. Oh, I see. Okay, then gets tuck that in. Like that. Yeah. And you guys, when you're doing this at home, mm -hmm. don't do this. <laughs> pull, pull it over a little bit more smoothly. But yeah. there you go. So you have two options for the corners. The back's not as important, especially if the chair back is hiding that, which it is in this case, and you end up with a custom seat. Okay.